Hey fans, welcome to this special Halloween edition of Whiplash TV here on the Wrestling Channel. And we certainly have a jam-packed hour in store for you. In our opening match, Bam Katraz is going to be going one-on-one -on -one with the Ballymun Bruiser. And after what took place between these two superstars just two weeks ago, Bam Katraz is looking to get even. And in our main event, it's going to be a tag team matchup with Madman Manson and Steve Mulligan taking on the Drew Galloway and the manager of champions, Charles Boddington. This one is going to be something else. Right now, let's get the action underway. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is scheduled for one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Making his way to the ring first. against young Bam Katraz. And the Warriors, from Thailand, weighing 172 pounds, Bam Katraz! Here comes Bam Katraz, the Katraz and the Warriors are coming right at him. They're holding each other on the outside ring. Katraz not waiting for any kind of bell. Bam Katraz! Much as it's there, come on, bring up, bring up. What Bam? What Bam? These two men beating the, beating the head out of each other here on the outside of the ring. These two men have a legitimate score to set up two weeks ago here on Whiplash TV. The Valley Moon Bruiser left Bam Katraz high and dry in their tag team match against the Heretic Society. But Bam Katraz wants revenge and he's getting it right now against the Valley Moon Bruiser. This is not going to be pretty. It's not going to be for the weak at heart. It's going to be an out and out fight between two of the, two of the biggest stars here in Irish Whip Wrestling. Katraz just used that sign from those fans at ringside and clocked it right over the head of the Ballymun Bruiser and now burst into the ring apron. The Bruiser in trouble here, there they go. Bam could never see him like this, he's absolutely full of fire. The bell finally sounds and now we are officially on the way and this is not going to be a pretty match. Both men once again roll into the outside of the ring. The referee trying to maintain control. Good luck. Back in the ring. Come on. Back in the ring. The bruiser. Take him right into those stairs at ringside. Back in the ring, lads. Come on. Those fans there in the front row got an up close and personal look at the action here. A rake in the face there by the Ballymun bruiser. Taking it over on Bam Katraz on the outside. These two men have spent about five seconds in the ring. Oh man, Bam Katraz rammed. That's Head wicked. first. That's wicked. Head first, right You saw You saw that. And Bam Katraz may be out on his feet. Come on, get him back in the ring. Come on. Katraz being thrown back into the ring. And now finally we've got both men in the ring. A kick to the rib cage by the Ballymont Bruiser. And look at that, the belly of Bruiser exposing the back of Bam Katraz and chopping him and now choking him with that t-shirt right around the throat of Bam Katraz. The referee getting that t-shirt out of the ring. The Valley Mount Bruiser now taking over on Bam Katraz and after that Irish whip into the steel post on the outside of the ring. Bam Katraz hasn't been the same and may not be the same for the balance of this match. Front face lock now by the Ballymun Bruiser into the vertical suplex, nicely executed. And as I've said on many occasions, regardless of his brawling tactics, nothing fancy about the Bruiser, but he can wrestle. A, non a nonchalant lateral press for another one. And you're not going to beat Bam Katraz that way. Katraz now trying to get back to his feet. The Bruiser arguing with the referee. And there's a roll up. It's Two count only. And another kick right to the ribcage of Bam Katraz by the Valley Mount Bruiser. 
Bam Katras has been unable to get out of the box here for the past several minutes in this match. The Bruiser maintaining control. There's a half cover. Two. No, two count only. The Bruiser, the Bruiser distracting the referee, meanwhile choking. Bam Katras. Another cover, and again Bam Katras kicks out. The Ballymon Bruiser will do absolutely anything to attain victory in a matchup. Fisherman suplex by the Bruiser, nicely executed, beautiful bridge. Two and a half count only though. Bam Katraz showing that tremendous in intensity and intentional fortitude that we, that we all know that he has. This crowd getting all over the cage to the Ballybun Bruiser here in Trabalgan. The elbow drop delivered right to the sternum. This has been a hard hitting. Physical matchup so far, these two men with a, a legitimate disdain for each other. And who can blame Bam Katraz for wanting to get re revenge after what took place two weeks ago here on Whiplash TV. Bam Katraz was literally thrown to, the, thrown to the wolves. Sleeper hold now applied by the Bruiser, this could be it. Bam Katraz may be out. If that arm goes one more time, this is going to be it. Oh, Bam Katraz is still in this thing. Bam Katraz. Trying to fight back here against the Ballymon Bruiser. Gets back to his vertical base. Rams the elbow to the midsection. And one more time. Katraz off the rope. Ducks the clothesline. Ducks the elbow. But he's hooked in that big body suplex. Beautifully executed by the Bruiser. This could be a connect his hook, but no. Two and three quarters only. Another cover. The Bruiser. Wearing out Bamka traps with those continual lateral presses and now delivering the knees right to the sternum. Continuing to rob Bamka Traz of his oxygen. These fans getting behind Bam Katraz, who's in trouble. The Ballymon Bruiser has been in control for the past several minutes of this match. Nonetheless, Katraz trying to fire back, but a, a thumb to the eye. Stops him in his tracks. Knee to the midsection, doubles over Bam Katraz, and the Bruiser, what a DDT. Modified damage case DDT, but again, Katraz kicks out. What fight and what guts being shown here by Bam Katraz. He's not out of this one yet, but the Bruiser doing the smart thing, going right back to that sleeper hold. Attempting to put Bam Katraz out, but now he brings him back to his feet and rams him face first into that top turnbuckle. <laughs> Katraz now being placed gingerly on that top turnbuckle. Neck break right off the ropes by the Bruiser. This could be it. Devastating reverse neck breaker too, but no, oh, again, another near fall. And this crap all over the case of the Ballymon Bruiser. And the Bruiser better not get distracted by these fans, otherwise Bam Katraz will get a chance to pour the offense on the Ballymon Bruiser and perhaps walk out of here with a victory. The Ballymon Bruiser now dancing victory. Take down by the Ballymont Bruiser, absolutely yeah. devastating. Eban. And after that, let's break off the ropes. Actually, oh, give me a yeah, break. Bam Katraz, going now. This should be it, there's a cover. So no, another so kick out, I can't believe it. The Ballymont Bruiser wasting so much time putting on that stupid looking hat onto his head. And that gave Bam Katraz a few seconds that he needed to get back into this match and to recuperate. And now Katraz getting back to his feet. The Ballymont Bruiser is continuing to argue with Bam Katraz. Going for the Enzigor, but he couldn't find the mark. Now a cross line by Katraz. 
Babka tries trying to build the momentum. There's a drop kick right to the side of the head of the Ballymont Bruiser. This could be it. Babka tries to the carry it right underneath the chin of the Bruiser. Babka tries on a roll. Building momentum. This could be it. Timey! Elbow! Yeah! Here comes the diving elbow, the planted move of Babka Trouts as he goes up top. But the is right there. And he crotches him on that top turnbuckle. The belly one bruiser playing possum. And Mary Bamka Traz pay for it. The belly one bruiser now going up to that second turnbuckle on the inside. Superplex perhaps coming up here. Those men in a very precarious position. The bruiser goes down to the canvas. A shot right to the back by Bam Katraz. Katraz trying to negotiate this high, this high risk maneuver. The bruiser's not moving. Katraz coming up top now. And there's the elbow. In the top, right to the sternum of the Valley Mud Bruiser. The diving elbow. There's a cover. One, two, three. And it's it. Hey everybody, welcome to the special report this week here on Whiplash TV. I'm your host Eamon Darcy at the news desk and I think you'll agree with me when I say that this week's program is shaping up to be one of the most memorable in IWW history. What about that main event tag team matchup with Madman Manson and Steve Mulligan teaming up to take on the Drew Galloway and the manager of champions Charles Bonington. I cannot wait to see this one. Finally, Madman Manson and Steve Mulligan are going to get a chance to get even with the manager of champions and the Drew Galloway for all their devious actions over the past number of months here in Irish Whip Wrestling. And from what I understand, just a few minutes ago, IWW cameras caught up with the Drew Galloway and the manager of champions where a very interesting conversation ensued. Charles, what's up? Drew. Have to be given this by management. You okay? Come down, come down, baby. I need to wrestle. You need to wrestle, Charles. You don't wrestle. I do the wrestling around here. You do the thing. No, Drew, look. What? Charles Boyd didn't must wrestle in this match tonight. Outside interference, but you slipped every time. I can't wrestle. I know how to teach, but I don't know how to wrestle, Drew. What am I going to do? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, show me that. But they asked me to Manson and Mulligan? I can't wrestle. Listen, I'm finally going to use this corruption in this company to get what I want. Manson and Mulligan, they've yet to become a notch on my gun. Hey. I've got a contract back there that can change any match I want to. Yeah. You're forgetting that I'm one of the top stars here. I'm the money maker. This contract, we're going to get rid of it. Because I'm going to get them to write us up a new one. Oh. And instead of Mulligan and Manson like thinking that we have the better of you guys, it's going to be the three of us against Man Manson and Mulligan in the handicap match. So what about me wrestling? Don't worry, me and you are going to take care of that. See? You you With your brains and with our brawn, our skill, we're definitely going to take down oh. these two guys tonight. You can see this. You can see this. You can get your revenge. Come on, Charles. You can get them to my Come on, Charles. You need to relax slightly. I can't believe what I've just seen, fans. 
Apparently, the heretic Red Vinny has now interjected himself into tonight's main event. Obviously, the heretic has found some contractual loophole of sorts, and it's now going to be a handicapped tag team matchup with Madman Manson and Steve Mulligan taking on the heretic Red Vinny, the Drew Galloway, and the manager of champions. So obviously, this match isn't going to be as easy as Mulligan and Manson would have liked. Nonetheless, you have to believe that both sides will be ready for action a little bit later on tonight in our main event here on Whiplash TV. Moving on now to talk about next week's program, IWW Whiplash TV will make its debut in Newcastle, England, and what a show it's going to be. We have a six-man tag team match in store, which includes Team IWW, comprised of the heretic Red Vinny, Madman Manson, and the flawless one, Jay Phoenix. They'll be taking on three of MEW's top stars, the D-Unit. But it's going to be very interesting to see just how Team IWW coexist in next week's match. And then the big main event is a triple threat match for the IWW International Heavyweight Championship featuring the current champion D'Lo Brown defending the title against the former champion SOS Seamus O'Shaughnessy and The Assassin. Let's take it back now fans just to relive some of the history between D'Lo Brown and SOS. They had one of the most memorable matches in IWW history this past July at the SFX Theatre for the IWW International Heavyweight Championship. crowd seems to be on, on the side of D'Lo Brown in this contest. D'Lo Brown now off the ropes, shoulder block and nobody goes anywhere. This time it's O'Shaughnessy and again. These two men patiently waiting for him but not anymore. Here he comes, my goodness! Here where, the cha where the champion is but here he comes! Close side right off the top rope. This crowd suddenly behind him. There's a leg drop and D'Lo with a moonsault for the second Nonetheless, O'Shaughnessy now over the top rope, lands on the apron, delivers the forearm shot to the face, springboard, neckbreaker off the top by O'Shaughnessy, what a move! And Seamus O'Shaughnessy, he's on fire, what a clothesline! My God, 360-ing D'Lo Brown in the center of the ring, flying shoulder block, takes down the challenger. O'Shaughnessy now in control, scoops up D'Lo Brown, we may see the SOS drop, the running power slide, there it is! They should do with the cover! Strip. O'Shaughnessy put his head down and paid for it. DDT. And now looking to hit the super bricks, and he does. Both men go crashing down to the canvas. Show championship means Dino scores with a sky high out of nowhere. But no, Sheamus O'Shaughnessy kicks out. I can't believe it. This one is going to be absolutely off the charts, fans. It's the triple threat match next week for the IWW Championship. D'Lo Brown defending against the former champion Seamus O'Shaughnessy and the Assassin. Don't miss it. So until next week, fans, this has been The Special Report. I'm Eamon Darcy, and right now stay tuned for more great Whiplash TV action right here on The Wrestling Channel. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the main event. The following match is a tag team contest scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Making his way to the ring first, accompanied by his manager, Charles Bonington from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing 220 pounds, the Drew Galloway! It's time for the 
Smash TV and what a main event we have in store for you fans. Drew Galloway and his manager Charles Boddington. And check out the outfits on these two guys. This is going to be a handicap tag team match. The Drew Galloway and his manager Charles Boddington will be teaming up with the heretic Red Vinny to go up against Madman Manson. A man who Drew Galloway has had his problems with in the past. And Manson's tag team partner Steve Mulligan. This is going to be a very interesting tag team match to say the least. And I have to question the wisdom of Charles wanting to step into the ring in this tag team matchup. We're going to find out what kind of credentials Mr. Boddington has inside the squared circle. These two men are disgusting, absolutely, totally obnoxious. They make me sick. And look at that, Boddington can't even get into the ring. Boddington obviously a little bit nervous here, competing in his first ever matchup this week here on Whiplash TV. Boddington is not a trained professional wrestler. And his tag team partner from County Lead. Weighing in at 166 pounds, the Heretic Red Vinny! And here he comes. One of the most dangerous competitors in Irish whip wrestling today, the Heretic Red Vinny. This man has been on a tear in recent months here at Irish whip wrestling. In fact, ever since his debut here at IWW, the Heretic Red Vinny has been amassing a very, very impressive streak of victories against all the top competitors here in Irish Strip Wrestling. But tonight, he and the Drew Galloway, along with Charles Boddington, are going to have to contend with Matt Van Manson and Steve Mulligan. And the heretic apparently has something to say here. This guy never shuts up. Once again, I return to this hellhole to show you people exactly who is the greatest power in this country.
Fans here in Irish Whip Wrestling. And after the beating that Madman Manson took here a few weeks ago here on Whiplash TV at the hands of Lee Drew Galloway and Charles Boddington, Steve Mulligan decided to take Madman Manson under his wing, so to speak. The Heretic and Galloway attacking both men before the bell sounds. Double Irish whip. A hooks. And a pair of hip tosses. Nicely done by Mulligan and Manson. And look at Charles Mulligan getting into the ring and getting right out of there. Just as quick as he got in. Obviously, Buddington is up for this one. There's no doubt that... As this crowd gets behind Madman Manson here in court, there's no question The Galloway and the Heretic are going to have to do all the work. Huntington's the kind of guy who'll come in and pick up the scraps when one of the opposition is down. You know what to do. And Manson is going crazy inside the ring. You never know what this guy is going to do. He's absolutely insane. People say he lost his mind. I don't think he, he ever had it to begin with. You take this. I promise you. I can do this. A bit of a strategy, strategy session. A bit of a strategy session going on on the far side of the ring between the Heretic Red Vinny, the Drew Galloway, and Charles Connington. can't be serious. They want Charles Bonington to get into the ring with a fresh Madman Manston? Give me a break. And you can see Charles Bonington not too happy about this whole situation. Come on, he can't even take a lock off for God's sake. Oh, give me a break. I think Manston dislocated. I think he dislocated. Just Bonington's shoulder. Tag is made to Steve Mulligan. I'll give you a free one. Give me one shot. Let's see if Bonington does any better against Steve Mulligan. Mulligan giving Charles a free shot and he can't even whip the guy. Oh, come on. This is embarrassing. Charles Bonington tags out. Looks like he's spent. And now the heretic in there trying to take take over on Steve Mulligan. This crowd getting into the action here in Cork. A cover elbow tie up by the heretic Red Vinny and Steve Mulligan into the armbar by Mulligan. Mulligan, a very powerful young man. The heretic now rolling through and countering nicely into the wrist log of his own. The heretic, a very technically gifted athlete inside the ring. Mulligan with a nice flip there a moment ago and now into another wrist lock. Applying the pressure on the left arm and shoulder of the heretic, Red Vinny. These two men going hold for hold, what a match this should be. No doubt the most interesting tag team match I think we've ever seen. Here at Irish Whip Wrestling. Vinny now going to work on the left leg and knee of Steve Mulligan, but Mulligan counters very nicely into the side headlock of his own. This young man, Steve Mulligan, has come on such a late in such a short period of time here at Irish Whip Wrestling. 
One of the greatest young up and coming stars here in IWW. Nicely frog there by the heretic. Over the top goes Mulligan from the far side now. Hip toss. Nice hip lock takeover. By the heretic as he hammers away on the back with a stiff forearm shot. Mulligan now finds himself in the wrong part of the ring. Tag is made. So Drew Galloway, who's wearing that very colorful t-shirt, shall we say. Going for a 1970s look, I think it suits him. Reverse knife wrench chop in the corner by, by Galloway. You can hear the impact of that snapmare takeover out of the corner. And what a shot right to the back. Unbelievable shot. Lee Galloway gets rid of that shirt. And now look at Lee Drew Galloway choking Steve Mulligan to the blind side of the referee. All three of Mulligan, Vinny, and Charles Bonington are masters of manipulating the referee. Nice snap suplex into the floor over here. You can see the forearm being ground into the face there of Steve Mulligan once again on that cover. Two quick near falls by the Drew Galloway. And Charles wants a bit of the action now, come on. Check out those pants on Charles. Charles, he can't even make a fist. What the heck? Give me a break. He's... This is terrible. The heretic in with a beautiful trash compactor right over the ropes. That leg drop. Beautifully executed by the Heretic, and another one. Off the ropes he comes once again. Corkscrew elbow drop. Lateral press, the leg is hooked, and an ear fall, that's all he can get. Steve Mulligan, showing great toughness and tenacity. Kicking out a two, two and a half. Suplex nicely done. Nice Asai even insult. But no, another two and a half count. Are you sure? Come on! Charles is up for this one. I heard he's been training all week for this match, but then again, that could just be a, a vicious rumor. What kind of an entrance was that? Oh, come on. What a win! And Mulligan knocking Charles to the outside of the ring. Off the ropes, he comes Galloway with a devastating clothesline. What an impactful shot, almost decapitating Steve Mulligan. Followed by the leg drop. This could be it, but look at that arrogant cover. That's not going to get it done. Against a tough competitor like Steve Mulligan. Mulligan now in trouble. Nonetheless, there's the Irish look under the rope. The close line is done. Now the body drop is counted into the sunset lift. Two count. Two count only. Beautiful drop kick though by Steve, excuse me, on Steve Mulligan by the Drew Galloway. This could be it. Another lateral press. And again, a near fall is all he can get. Give the Drew Galloway credit there for getting back on the offense so quickly. Delivering that drop kick right to the face. And look at Galloway. Taunting. Taunting Madman Manson and then a vicious shot right across the back. Manson feeling the effects of that. Come on, Manson. The Heretic Red Finney and Lee Drew Galloway now double teaming. Steve Mulligan in the corner. Madsen being distracted by the referee. The referee trying to maintain control in the corner over there with Manson. And Manson is irate on the apron. And rightfully so, his partner's being assaulted over there in the corner to the blind side of the official. And this is exactly what we expected in this handicap match. Three against two here. And now a slow best developing in the center of the ring. A series of forearms by both men. Mulligan catches the boot. And executes a beautiful Inzaguri right to the back of the head of Red Vinny. And now is the time for Steve Mulligan to tag in the big man, Madman Manson. Referee laying the count on both ends. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. And here comes the big man. The insane man's in the ring and Drew Galloway. 
Excuse me, Charles Bonington heading for the hills. Drew Galloway trying to come to the aid of his manager. Charles Bonington screaming for his life there a moment ago on the outside of the ring. And he tagged in Galloway. Galloway wasn't even on the ring apron. And Manson now getting caught by D. Drew Galloway as the insane one made his way back into the ring. And D. driven right to the shoulder blade. This could be it. There's a cover. A one count only there. Manson obviously way too fresh to be pinned just yet. Manson a hot favorite here in Cork, no question about it. Pile driver by the Drew Galloway. He calls that the move. And he hit it perfectly, but an earfall is all that he could get. And Galloway now is totally frustrated. Tag is made to the heretic, who appears to be a little bit frustrated. The heretic now with a kick to the ribs and a forearm to the back of Madman Manson. The heretic now all, bi all business in there against Madman Manson. The Irish whip is reversed and Galloway goes down to the floor. A meeting of the mind, so to speak, and a drone follow up by Manson. Down goes the heretic. And now Manson turning the momentum on the heretic red Benny lifting the boot right underneath the throat of the heretic. Fisherman suplex lost the executed beautiful break by Manson, but a two count is all that he can get. And Manson will surprise you from time to time with his technical wrestling ability. But like everybody else, a thumb to the eye will stop him every time. And there appears to be some dissension in the ranks there in the corner between the heretic, Galloway and Bobbington. Manson now gets back to his feet, rolls up the heretic. Two and a half count over. And obviously, all is not well in the camp of Bonington, the heretic, and Galloway. And once again, a moment ago, we had a meeting of the minds between the heretic and Bonington. And now Bonington's in trouble. Manson's got him. Up he goes. The institutionalizer coming up, perhaps. Tag is made. Down goes Bonington and the institutionalizer. Mulligan now from the top row. This could be it. Frog splash. My God, that's got the number two. Forget about it. What action we have seen this week here on Whiplash TV, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, somebody has shut the mouth of the manager of champions, Charles Bonington. Tune in next week when we'll be in Newcastle, England, and the IWW Championship will be on the line when D'Lo Brown defends the title in a triple threat match against SOS, Shame of O'Shaughnessy, and The Assassin. Don't miss it. Until then, fans, we'll see you all next week here on Whiplash TV on The Wrestling Channel.